Hello everyone, we are right now in the beautiful mangrove swamp and I have some news. So this build here, our first uh, village building in our base of operation currently, like I have worked on the outside. As you guys can see, the pillars are finally done. I've also put now uh, window shutters there and everything. So it does look definitely way nicer than it did before. And currently I'm also working on the inside and I'm decorating. We already colored the white beds to yellow. I'm thinking about adding some green or lime carpet indoors. Like it's gonna be nice. And even if you look from here, there's definitely a huge improvement. I do kind of like how the window at like the last floor there on top is like, so, it's like different, right? Like it's, it's nice to not have everything be the same. And I have some news. So I've brought over some cactuses and some scent and we are going to start a cactus farm maybe to just make it look even better i even think about uh, putting the cactus garden into a glass house like that would be so nice right like a glass cactus house or something you would need to be a, do a bit of clearing here and bring it up a bit though but it's fine and yeah about the bees i further bred them so now we have four uh, bee nests. I will add like a fifth one there. I will also get rid of this and we're just gonna extend the farm even more. And I've just noticed that we still need to grow a little bit of uh, wheat. Because we do have now farms. Oh, talking about farms, we have now sheep as well. Let me show you guys. So, wow, I actually love how we have like more and more bees now. I feel like the, the population of bees is growing really, really, really well. And here are finally some sheep, what is really nice. Because we do need some wool. Perfect. For our llamas, I've also made a farm and uh, we're going to move them later on. But what we first of all need to do, and I'm a bit confused now. Why is there a freaking iron golem? Holy shit, how did he get there? He just spawned there. See, what I thought would be nice to add. How about we add like nice flower pots to the windows? Because I feel like the mangrove swamp, even though it looks pretty nice, it's like lacking flowers. So let us be the ones to add a bunch of flowers here to make stuff look even better. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to place two dirt blocks and we are going to place uh, trapdoors around it gonna look really really nice this one has the wrong angle unfortunately so we need to place it while jumping i guess and for here we can go with the uh, blue flowers i think they look nice as well we could add a little red here doesn't need all to have the same color like it's actually so cool what you can do with trapdoors. I'm using trapdoors for so much. I'm using it for like window shutters. We're using it for <laughs> like here the bee nest as like uh, smoke pillars basically. I guess that's what you would call that, right? And it's just so nice. Even indoors you can do like very cool stuff with like trapdoors. You can make like shelves for example. And if you want to you can also like make a closet from trapdoors we have done that before and looks pretty nice like all you really need for like <laughs> some decorations is freaking signs trapdoors stairs and that's basically it okay here we're going for red here we are going for maybe a bit of yellow add some variety and how does it actually look from the far like it looks nice from up close but how does it look from far oh that's definitely an improvement. Let's go to the upper floor as well. And for that, we're going to save on some dirt because we are running out of dirt. So I'm going to use... Wait, baby villager? I thought all beds were occupied. Okay, I'm a little confused now. So I have no clue why there is a baby villager. Here we're going for blue. Some trapdoors. Oh yeah, we can just walk on, on top of that now since there's a trap door. Here, I think yellow is fine. Oops. Oh, that works. Uh, I don't want to fall though. Okay, that's a trick if you don't want to fall. You just 
open up the trapdoors like that. I've done some parkour before. It was like a, a server. It was like cool. There's like they also had like those kind of thingies with like trapdoors you can like jump on to get to the other side. Parkour is actually quite fun in Minecraft. If you find like a good server or so. Alright, we need the shovel to get down. Alright, let's have a look from the far. And cool, we have one more now. I really love the red mushroom that they are carrying around. I think it looks so cool. Oh, wow. That's a very noticeable improvement. Shit, it's getting dark. Alright, let's finish the, the ground area here. And we're going to quickly sleep and then we're going to work on the next floor. I've also made a very, very fascinating discovery that I will show you in a bit, guys. So... Here, let's go with... How about like a white flower? Running out of trapdoors, what is not a problem. We have tons of spruce wood still. Yeah, yellow. And... Let's quickly get a couple of more trapdoors and let's eat up. And after that, before we continue this, I will quickly show you a very interesting discovery we have made. Maybe we are lucky and actually have in the chest some trapdoors left somewhere. I think upstairs is everything. And yeah, like I've started moving some of the beds, uh, like yellow beds up there. I feel like yellow actually fits the red. Like, I've done a bit of testing and green looks nice with this wood. So if you're thinking about like carpets or beds, go with either green, yellow I highly recommend and purple can work. Purple will look a bit dark, but I feel like it still looks pretty nice. So I would say like, my favorites are definitely yellow, green and, and purple with this. Okay, we still have some wood, but unfortunately I'm seeing right now, yeah, we really ran out of trapdoors. I hope we can at least finish the the other floor as well right let's change this all into to planks and let's see how many trapdoors we can get from that oh i think that should be enough yeah that's all right but before we f continue here and finish the other sides let me quickly show you something really really crazy so I said I would clear a large area, so we're gonna build like a, a village there, right? Like with more buildings, not just this house. But yeah, I've cleared like the whole area here. I've gotten rid of this giant spruce tree, I'll move it to somewhere else. And here can be at least like another, maybe even two builds. I'm not sure, either I keep this or I flatten this. I've already placed down the foundation of one building. What I will actually consider putting in here is... We are most likely going to... Let me do a bit of the ground, by the way. We're most likely going to have, like, the toolsmith here. And maybe we're going to also add some cauldrons there for, like, some, some leather workers. Because I do want to get a saddle. We were not so lucky with the chests and, like, freaking mineshafts and, like, uh, shipwrecks and stuff. Same with, like, village chests. So what I'm going to do maybe is I'm just going to freaking level up a, a, a leather worker. Yeah, I'm in love with the new wood. So let me show you something crazy I've discovered that we're gonna check out in a bit once we're done with the building. So I wanted to check the surrounding area while clearing this. And I wanted to see how much space do I actually have to do something crazy with. So I've discovered a very, very fascinating biome within the mangrove swamp. So let's go a bit higher. And you can probably already see a bit of it. And soon you want to see even more. So yeah, do you guys see that? That's crazy over there. So we do have a bamboo forest or something. If you want to, we can quickly have a look there actually right now and see if we maybe even encounter some panda bears. Wow, imagine we're gonna have some pandas. Like we could start a freaking zoo in this mangrove swamp. <laughs> and how about that? How about we, we, we start a freaking zoo? Let me equip my sword right now and my freaking bow. I'm an archer type of uh, player in Minecraft. I'm actually really, really decent with the bow. I've been practicing my a aim for ages. I've been like freaking shooting, even freaking practice targets and stuff. Wow. This is going to be a big adventure. So what's over there? 
What was that? I heard a very strange noise. What was this? Ah, it was this frog. Nice. We finally have some bamboo. Let, let's break one and bring it uh, over. Nice. Something new. Maybe we can also make some cool uh, indoor, fl indoor plants with that. I think bandos in pots, they look really nice. And it's very small, so maybe we're not lucky with the pandas. Uh, yeah, it's already over. We do have... Oh, we have a new type of tree. Wait, no, I already bought sap uh, saplings from a trader, so we don't need that actually. But we could get some jungle wood as well. I think the jungle wood trap does actually not too bad. There's another azalea tree. That means we do have quite a lot of lush caves in the area. What's here, by the way? I think this kind of area is also nice for people that want to be like a starter base in the mangrove swamp. It's pretty flat. You do have like water with a lot of dirt so you can start early farms. Are there actually any seeds that start in the mangrove swamp? I've yet to see anyone like starting there. Usually you have to travel like thousands of blocks until you find a mangrove swamp. How long did it take you guys to find your first mangrove swamp? Let me know in the comment section. And by the way guys, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And I want to welcome and thank all the new subscribers that recently have joined this channel. I really appreciate you guys and... Like, uh, each time I see, like, a new subscriber and you guys actually watching, like, I'm even more motivated to do, like, more episodes and stuff, so. You guys are definitely all helping push out the series and stuff, so I really appreciate that. Thank you, guys, and... Oh, it has gotten quite noisy here. <laughs> Why should we grow those? Wait. What was that? I heard an animal suffering. It did sound like an animal was in pain. It was like a cat or something, right? Holy shit. Oh, and about the bamboo. I just found the best spot for it. You know where we're gonna grow this? I'm going to make a bamboo forest right here. Let's make this all full with freaking... Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. And let's quickly move those llamas before I forget it. Because they do have now their own uh, thingy here. Okay, come with me. Be good llamas. Please don't break the lead. Come in here. Because I need the lead for other stuff. Originally plan to actually use the lead if we find some pandas. So we can kidnap some. <laughs> but yeah, it turned out that there were no pandas. We have to f look in mm, the hopes... Like, we're not gonna lose hope. Maybe later we're gonna find some. They, this is done. Let's do the other side. And yeah, we have no more trapdoors, so let's start placing them here. I want pandas. I think pandas are very interesting creatures. Huh. Those villager sounds. One thing I'm wondering. Who came up with the idea to give uh, villagers in Minecraft this kind of ha sound, like this kind of voice? What did they think about when they added it? <laughs> it is funny though. But it, it does annoy you after a while. If you're spending too much time in a village or you have them in your freaking base, like you sometimes have to worry about your mental state. I, sometimes I, when I'm like too long in a village or at my base and I'm not busy doing stuff, like sometimes even when I don't play I hear village villager sounds in my head. Like it's just stuck in my head. Like I hear ha 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 all day long even when I don't play the game. <laughs> Alright. Uh it's a bit dangerous what I'm doing, so kids don't try this at home, but it's worth it. It's gonna look nice this building. Let's keep this out like... Ah! This is why I said it's freaking dangerous. And we could just go up here. It's okay, we're almost done anyway. I think we're just missing two sides. Uh, here we are going this time with this one. The other side I want blue again. 
I really like this blue uh, orchid, 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 I hope I pronounce it correctly, because the thing I like about it is, it seems to be bigger than the other flowers, and they are also nice, like I like big flowers. Oh, uh, let me push this one down, we just saved this one actually by coincidence. Go down, dude, dude go down. Oh, I want you to fall down. Oh, good. We saved this one. You can now serve as a guard again to protect our base. Those, those iron globes are so OP. Aren't they like the third strongest mob? Or was it fourth strongest mob in Minecraft? I think I've read it somewhere. That they are so OP. Like one iron golem is at least half as strong as a wither or something, right? So... Does that mean if you have like three iron golems and you're fighting a wither, they're gonna win? Probably. Yeah, I think that could actually if, if work. Like three iron golems first versus a wither. Maybe I should try this in creative Minecraft and see who is going to win. So yeah, let's add some blue ones here. Ouch! I'm not gonna use this anymore. I'm just gonna go up like this. It's just like four or five blocks anyway. Here, yellow. I like the sound it makes when you break the, the mud. I think it sounds very interesting. Can I target this from here or not? Yes, I can. Perfect. Oh, this is the last one left here. Oh, and geez, almost night. I want to finish it. We have exactly five dirt blocks left. What is completely enough to finish this? Just going to ignore the corners because I've just noticed we can actually do this from the ground. And here will be red. I don't want to sleep until this is done. And voila, this is done. Let's quickly sleep and have a look from the far how this actually looks like. We also have to quickly store all the, the stuff we no longer need in the, the chest up there. And time to get my weapons back because something could have spawned now. For some reason, I think one uh, tiger villager died, right? We just have one left. I brought two here, but I only see one. I wonder what happened to the other one. Maybe I was too busy building stuff. So it turned night and it just freaking died or so. Mm. Yeah, I still need a cat. I hope we're gonna uh, see a cat spawn soon. really want a cat. Oh yeah, time to eat. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is this one stuck there? Uh, I'm not sure if they patched it, but I remember that actually vines sometimes bug out iron golems and uh, villagers and just pull, pull them up. And, oh wow. I like the new look. We could also add to this one a uh, flower pot. I'm not sure yet. How much dirt do we have left? Only one. Yeah, maybe I leave it like that. I don't know. But it looks nice with those flowers. Wow. It's definitely an improvement. Alright. Uh, time to breed our new animals. So we're going to collect some, some wheat. Since we ran out of it. And what's the next building we should work on? So, so this building, I want this to be the, the tool smithing and leather working house. So there will be three to four villagers living in there. The ground floor will be where the working stations are. I'm actually thinking about doing this on all buildings. So, so when you enter, like the ground floor is where all working stations are. And always the second floor is like the bedroom where there will be three to four beds per building. So our first structure after this one will be here. The second structure I will place somewhere here. And the third structure will be somewhere over there. 
So we're gonna have at least three buildings here. I've already marked the location where the, the town center will be, where they can gather. There will be also the bell. It will be here. Think about adding like a little water pool with maybe some sort of roof and like a cauldron or something. And what I want to get is soul fire lanterns. I want this to look like a freaking uh, cult, like some secret cult gathering spot for like maybe witches or something. <laughs> like something crazy and wild for the wild mangrove swamp, right? And I do believe that this building is close enough to actually detect a bell if it's there. I mean, if we look at our old school desert kingdom, it was insane how far villagers could go because they walked more than 400 blocks even or 500 to, to the bell. So is this like 300 blocks? How much is this actually? I didn't count, but it's so maybe two, 300 blocks for them. So if, I, if, if some can go 400 blocks, I believe they can go two, 300 blocks. I don't know. And before we finish today's episode, there is something I really want to do. So this is a Leah tree here. That means at the bottom somewhere is a lush cave. And I want to see if there really is one. So we are going to dig down here a bit and see what we can find. I am super, super curious. I don't know what is down there. We have to make a turn soon to see if anything is going on here like there is actually no what should I say minimum amount like uh, a minimum uh, depth until you can see the lush cave like I've noticed that sometimes when you see a azalea tree you need to go down by hundreds of blocks until you can actually see a lush cave so I do hope it's not going to be the case here that we need to go down like hundreds of blocks because this would be a pain. But who knows how deep this actually goes until we can find the lush cave. It's good is here still the, the, what do you call this again? Rooted dirt. That means we are still in the right coordinates. But I do notice that there's still no lush cave, which absolutely sucks. Can make a turn here again. How deep are we? We're already layer 36 and I see nothing. It is so fast now to, to dig though with the new pickaxe we have. It was it was wise of us to level up our villager and do the trading. Uh, still nothing. Come on. Kidding me. Okay, here we're going to make a turn. There's more rooted dirt, but no lush cave yet. Shit. When are we going to see one? You're already so so deep. What the heck? It's still nothing. About to make another turn in a moment. Otherwise we are off coordinates. <sighs> okay, we, we are running out of torches. Uh let's make some new ones. And I'm going down by another like ten blocks or so. Maybe twenty uh, I mean like 15 let's, let's say 15 and if i don't find anything i just leave it be and maybe tonight i will do some more digging to see if we do manage to find something since we ran out of dirt it's good that we are able to collect some dirt here um wait a moment that's a good sign if we are uh, having clay here. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is very good. Hope there's nothing hostile here. Uh, what is this? Oh, those are the roots. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, that's strange. There's no lush cave really. Maybe it's it's, it's more uh, down there. I don't know. 
Anyway, let's let's get back to the surface. I think it's almost night. Yeah, that's weird. Because we're already at the deep slate area and there's still no lush cave. Like I prefer the, the lush case where there's still cobblestone. Because I think it looks way better with the green and the, the light grey than the dark grey with the green, in my opinion. So I prefer those that are a bit higher. Shit. So I wanted to also have like a underground uh, sort of village, right? Like I wanted one portion of this village to be on the surface and one to be uh, underground. Maybe I should connect this tunnel I digged over there with this one and see if we do manage to at least find like a, a chamber or something. Holy shit, this is growing so fast, the bamboo. I've almost forgotten how, how easy it is to grow actually freaking bamboo in Minecraft. This is so fast. But yeah, this house is so freaking nice. I, I have to take a picture. I like that actually. Should we take a selfie with it? Maybe this becomes like the thumbnail or something. Of today's video yeah we have everything there we have the villager on uh, the picture we have the, the bee yeah that's that's a nice picture maybe we're gonna use that for the thumbnail what are those bees doing here wait they can use this as well I thought they only go to this po proper glue whatever you call that huh. nice but yeah guys that's it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you guys are new to this channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and the plan for me now is i'm going to finish the first building for you guys and i will show you how it looks once it's done so what i'm going to do for the next episode is i'm going to complete this build I'm also going to decorate a bit more indoors. And yeah, like I said, I think I want this one to be for the toolsmith and the, the, the cauldron worker, the leather worker. And I will go with a bit of a similar design than the one we had in the taiga. But it's going to be with the new wood. But it's definitely going to have a, a similar design. The only exception is instead of using stone for the walls. We're going to use the wood and for the pillars we're actually going to use stone. So that's going to be the, the major difference. But yeah guys, I wish, I wish everyone a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time.